Does grass deform when Claude steps on it? Let's find out. As you guessed, there is no grass deformation in GTA 3. This was fixed in the GTA trilogy. Notice how grass will now react to Claude. Pretty cool improvement. Same goes for Vice City and San Andreas. The original games don't have grass deformation. But this was fixed in the new trilogy. What about GTA 4? The grass doesn't react to Nico's feet. A shame. Does GTA 5 have grass deformation? At first glance, it doesn't seem like the grass deforms. But it does. Let's take a closer look. The effect is not great. But it's there. What about the mighty RDR2? That grass. Grass looks much better in RDR2 and physically react to your character. Individual blades of grass will also fly away as you walk by. Nice detail. How does grass react to burnouts in GTA 3? It's actually not possible to do burnouts in GTA 3. Let's see what happens in Vice City. Grass flies away when a burnout is performed in Vice City. Looks a little bit odd up close though. Man, what's this? Shit look ridiculous. What about San Andreas? Does it have better effects? They're pretty much the same actually. Awkward green circles are caused by the burnout. Are things different in GTA 4? The effect is much better in GTA 4. The grass debris look good and are more realistic. Good upgrade from the previous GTA games. What about burnouts in GTA 5? Let's find out. The effects are much better than all previous games. Individual blades of grass can be seen flying away. With some dirt and debris. Let's see what happens in RDR2. Obviously, we cannot perform burnout in RDR2. But we could ride on grass to see the effects.
once again. How does fire affect grass in GTA 3? Well, it isn't. Fire has no effect on grass in GTA 3. Are things different in Vice City? Same behavior as GTA 3. The grass remains good as new. What about San Andreas? Things are actually much more interesting in San Andreas. Fire will actually catch on grass. And will quickly burn through the area. Before you know it, the entire area is in flames. Firefighters will show up to take the fire out. But the fire is so strong they can never put it out. Okay, back to the grass. Despite the fact that fire ravaged the area, grass is in perfect shape. Fire does not leave grass damaged or anything. Another random fact. Fire that propagates does not hurt NPCs. So they can walk through it unharmed. True story. Man, fuck! Does fire affect grass in GTA 4? Fire has limited propagation in GTA 4. But it turns the burned grass dark. Sadly the effect quickly fades away. Go cry to your therapist. And grass goes back to being brand new. Give me whatever you got, got. Are the effects better in GTA 5? Propagation is better than GTA 4. The burned grass turns dark in GTA 5 as well. But once the fire is gone it goes back to normal. As if the fire was never there. And finally, the mighty RDR2. Fire looks amazing in RDR2. And gradually burns grass as it propagates. Once the fire stops, it's easy to notice that grass is gone from the burned area. Burned grass also exhibits smoke effects. And the effect doesn't fade away like in GTA games. 